Good morning, uh, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and thank you so very much for joining the Life of Signatures Radio. We are continuing to go strong uh, talking about uh, different aspects here on the episode. We normally talk about those three things of purpose, productivity, resilience. And right now we are talking about productivity and purpose in the same thing with the topic of work. Different things have been shared about work at different moments in the past 15 or so episodes. And we're going to continue talking about the same in the episode today. But I want to focus on this question. Can or should your work affect your identity? That's the question that I want us to tackle today in this episode. It's a daily show, ladies and gentlemen. So whatever place it is that you're tuning on, thank you so very much. If it's making sense to you, share it with somebody else. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So as you can imagine, we have been at it for quite a while now. I don't know. When you see someone talking about work, I don't know what comes to your mind. When you hear someone talking about work, I don't know what comes to your mind. And when you hear someone talking about being jobless, I don't know what comes to your mind. Also, when you hear someone saying, I am going to work, I don't know what comes to your mind. When someone is talking about work, especially as far as you are concerned, what comes to your mind? Forget about talking about other people, but how about you? How, how do you define your work? How do you relate to work? Is it something you frown upon? Or is it something you're passionate about? Something that you look forward to? Something that you, you've got to be yanked out of, the, out of your chair? Go and rest. Okay? For, for, for some people, it's the opposite. When they are watching TV, they've got to be yanked out of the chair. Go and sleep. Get out of here. Okay, and, but there are some who, did, I don't know if it's true, but I, I heard a story of somebody who some years back was um, at the basement, or is it basement, whatever it is that they were doing, they were cracking their heads and so on. And then the mama was shouting, come on it! And they told mom, stop disturbing me, I am thinking! In other words, their work supersedes the the food. In fact, uh, speaking of the same, Jesus Christ told his disciples, I have food to eat you know nothing about. You know why he was telling them that? He was telling them that at the point in time where they had just brought him food after he had spoken to the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman at the well. Remember the woman who went and said, come and tell, come and let me show you the person who told me everything I ever did. Right? He, he told these guys, I have food to eat, you you know nothing about. My question is, what is your relationship with your work? What is my relationship with my work? Is it something that I frown upon, something I curse? I used to have uh, my first ever job, by the way, after I had outgrown it. I will curse that thing. In fact, I I mean, I was one of the most downcast people at work. Why was I keeping going there? Because I needed to pay rent. You see that kind of bondage? I needed to pay rent, that's why I kept going there. So at the expense of my mental health, at the expense of my destiny, I keep doing what I hate. You cannot necessarily, we cannot necessarily call that work. But can or should work 
affect our identity. In the previous episodes, over and over again, I've caught myself saying that you cannot divorce work from the human. Not that work is a curse or it's a necessity, it's a, it's a necessary evil. It's not an evil thing. It's a blessing. And you cannot divorce the human being. If you divorce the human being from work, that's the beginning of the end of humanity. That's the beginning of the end of the world, basically, period. That's it. So the most dreaded question that, quote, quote, a jobless person faces is this. So what do you do? You meet a classmate from a classmate in high school or primary school or university or diploma, uh, college, whatever it is, and you ask, hey, so tell me, what's up? What, what are you doing? It's one of the most dreaded questions if you ask someone who is not engaged in, especially in our world today, we have put this premium emphasis on the fact that whatever I engage in, I must be paid for it at the end of the month. So you ask that question to someone and in a split second, there is a war waging in their mind, you know, trying to get their minds to help them to answer that question for that particular day. Invariably, this question has become an identity question, whether we like it or not. So should work affect my identity? Should it affect your identity? Should your identity be connected to what you do? Should it be connected to what I do? Or rather, is my identity indeed connected to what I do or don't do in terms of labor or work? It's a mouthful of a question. So, what we've been talking about in the previous episodes and so on, it's extensively covered the subject and we're going to continue talking about the same there is no doubt that the person who does not work we know this not the person who does not necessarily have a job okay the person who does not work has their identity thoroughly soiled or thoroughly affected or thoroughly messed up they are not engaged that's the word. They are not engaged in anything productive. Uh, let us just personalize this question. Is my identity affected by what I do or what I don't do in terms of work? And I think the obvious answer, of course, you already know, it is a yes. Our identity is affected really by the work that we do daily it is affected whether we like it or not it is affected but work is a blessing we have already established that work is a blessing to the human over and over again we have seen that the very nature of creation needs a human to function in other words, the creation was specifically designed so that man can take advantage of the systems, the processes, and everything that there is in there, the laws and the principles, in order to unleash their best works. So, when you are jobless, quote, quote, when someone asks you, so what do you do? What really comes to your mind is a whirlwind of things that are anchored in nothing else but your identity. Your identity is at stake with what you do or what you don't do. Every one of us has that particular conundrum. Even before you can feel guilty when you encounter such a question, you will be having a longing, a longing, a needing, a, a, a desire to work. It is an inherent, it's inside of us, an inside thing. You see, work is not an appendage an addition to you to impute on you just as a human now that you're a human work no just like blood flows through the veins of a human to give life to the body work flows through the psyche of the human to impute onto them an identity whoa that's a quotable quote we are identified by the works that we do 
this identity is not just what others perceive of us, but strongly, exactly by the way, what we perceive of ourselves. It is very important for us to note that. So it is important because the world needs change. The world needs impact. The world needs innovation and creativity. The world needs inventions constantly. That's why the human is there constantly. And you and I have got a part to play. The human race will never peak. P-E-P-E-A-K. The human race will never peak in terms of growth and development. We can always get better. There will not be a place where we say, okay, we were, no. We can always get better. Why? Because we were designed by the creator to create, to co-create. And for as long as we live, we will always be engaged either in initiating, either in creating, in managing, in improving, in creating, in making things happen. That's why we are humans. One could argue that uh, there are different levels of work, of course. These different levels are connected to the different reasons as to why we work. Gifts are different, talents are different, passions are different. It's okay. But Abraham Maslow tried to structure this information in what he framed as the pyramid of needs. And uh, I can tell you that behind that pyramid, there's just one word, one anchor. Work cuts across. Doesn't matter the level. My satisfaction in my work is totally different from Elon Musk's satisfaction. I might not be satisfied with what he's doing at SpaceX, but I'm satisfied with what I'm doing at Life Signatures. But we are both working. It's, it's cutting across. All of us are working. So some people work in order to defend their... Um, to fend for themselves. To survive. And this is an unfortunate thing and it, it, I'm not criticizing people because all of us at some point in time we, we work because of this. What I'm saying is that we need to find a, a place where we transcend this. That the work that we're doing is not for survival. The work we're doing is basically magnifying, exemplifying, glorifying the identity that we already have. We already have an identity at birth. It is through work that they are, we are able to put food on the table, we're able to put clothes on our backs and so on. But that's not it all. There is over and above that. And I believe even though this is absolutely critical, it is the basic reason for working, not the real reason. The real reason is our identity. The people who are working to survive would not be proud of their initiatives a sense of responsibility but when it comes to their identity they will always know that there could be something better that they, they will do that's why some people if you give them an opportunity to quit their jobs today today i dare you today if you give people conducive environments to quit their jobs the numbers of people who will quit will be staggering why because people for the most part are currently working for survival some people work so that they can have some kind of lifestyle, some kind of esteem of their fellow men and their fellow women. Still, others work so that they can protect themselves from hardship. When it comes to identity though, I have realized that the greatest identity one can create for themselves is that which comes from their core work. What we'll be talking about, their life's work. Their core work is simply the work that uses their utmost giftedness, intelligence, and passion in order to positively impact, contribute, make a difference in this universe. That is an awesome thing. It's an awesome thing that culminates into your identity. And the inherent identity of a human, that identity that is there, it, it, it's there before they start even working, is a powerful communicator. It tells that the greatest reason why we were created in the first place is so that we can work to be productive. And I've said this over and over again. There is no other bigger purpose for the human being there but to work. We have already established that work is not a curse. It is a blessing. And yes, there will be difficulty. There will be setbacks. I mean, there will be hardship. 
it is part and parcel of the process of the nature of work and that is how we grow that is how we improve that is how we develop that's why we we, we easily overcome I can easily say this, that there is no greater conduit for the development of an individual other than work. And the definition of work is something that we need to, even as I come to a close of this episode, the definition of work is something that we need to talk about, and I'm going to talk about that in the next episode. But the work that we do has got to culminate. In fact, it's got to start and culminate with our identity. I hope that makes sense to all of us today. Why are you working? Tomorrow we continue. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.